We've made a lot of progress in our survival world. We spent hundreds of days conquering dimensions, defeating deadly bosses, and doing a lot of building. But today, we're going to take our village project and completely transform it into something that I want to call a finished project. But the first thing we have to do is strip it all back so we can really see what space we have to work with here. Oh boy, we got a whole load of tree chopping to do. Let's go. And while I spend ages chopping trees, make sure to subscribe to the channel. At the time of recording, we're less than 2,000 subscribers away from hitting the big 100k. Okay, sorry, back to the video now. All right, everyone, we got a whole bunch of trees cleared out now, as you can see. Still probably a few more over there in the actual village area. But I think for now, we're just going to work on this section, which I think is actually going to be the biggest project. But in this area, I want to make a big load of farmland. And that should hopefully tidy up the fishing dock and the sawmill and just sort of tie everything together into the main village there. But obviously, we got a huge area to fill here. And the terrain's looking kind of messy. There's like enderman grass blocks everywhere. More over there. We got all this stone here that needs converting to dirt. Not to mention all these holes and stuff. I've got the enderman blocks are everywhere. Oh, there's loads of stone over here as well by the villager breeder. Yeah, pretty much all this needs converting to dirt. More enderman blocks. So yeah, I think next up is getting all this stone sorted and maybe trying to smooth out some of this terrain. I mean, if we land on the sawmill here, you can see this side is actually pretty good. Just got a couple of holes to fill in, but this side's looking a lot more untidy. Now, while chopping down all those trees, we did get a whole bunch of wood as well, which I'm just going to store over here at the tree farm. And as you can see, I've actually had the farm running in between episodes as well. In fact, between episodes, I've probably played for about 10 hours already, just collecting up a whole bunch of resources because this project is probably going to be the biggest one I've done in a video. Not too sure why I'm doing this to myself, but I really think the end result is going to be worth it. Right, this is probably not going to be enough dirt for what we need, but hopefully when I start smoothing out all the terrain, we'll collect up a bit more dirt that way as well. I should probably nip to the XP farm and fix my tools as well. All right, let's get these tools fixed up. Maybe we can start sawing out that terrain. Right, well, we're almost there with this terrain. Do need to grab myself a little bit more dirt, though. Ooh, I was about to say, I'm just trying not to destroy the terrain around me. Just trying to find dirt in caves like this. But hopefully all of this is going to be enough to get the rest of it filled in. Must not forget to repair my shovel again as well. Another thing that I think would be super helpful is actually just moving the beacon. So let me just grab this thing. And rather than moving the base, let's actually just grab a little bit of iron. And let's just build one right here. There we go. Let's just get haste two on this thing. And this should make digging out the stone a whole lot easier. Oh, I really wish I did this ages ago. I'm so stupid. It's gonna save so much time, but I'm gonna get the rest of this dirt filled in. And then we can move on to some more fun stuff. Let's go. And here we are, terrain all sorted. Well, I think for the most part, anyway, I say that and I find this little spot here. But with that, I think we're pretty much ready to move on to the next phase of this farmland, which I think is actually going to be putting some paths in. So I think we're going to get these sort of winding around this area. Need it to cover all the way down here and all up here into the village as well. But once we do that, it should give us a pretty good understanding of where the fields are going to be. The last episode, we did this with the mud and the rooted dirt and the coarse dirt. So I think that's what we're going to roll with. Now, I did say I was collecting a whole bunch of resources between episodes. And some of the resources that I collected was actually some mud from the mangrove swamp and a whole bunch of coarse dirt over at this savannah thing. So we got a whole bunch of mud and a whole bunch of wheat as well. My inventory's full already. Right, let's start crafting this up. Oh, even my shulker boxes are full. Be right back. All right, this is the last of the mud crafted up. That should be good enough to make a start on the paths. And I've also got a whole bunch of rooted dirt and some coarse dirt. So shulker box is loaded. And let's actually just grab a couple stacks of cobblestone because before we get the paths built, well, I think we need to start trying to plot them out a little bit. And I guess we'll start here at the starter house because I think before we go beyond this point into the village, the palette's probably going to change. So I'd say from here, let's have a path snaking down over this way, which we can connect up over to the sawmill, just like that. And off of this one, let's just come over this way. This sort of just leads to where we've been chopping spruce trees and stuff. Though this seems like a pretty good spot for another building. So maybe we'll stop that there. Then from the sawmill, let's come around this way. We'll come past the back of the fishing village, up onto this hill. And it's going to try and make my way down to the end of our area here. And I guess this will sort of act like our main road through the farmland, maybe to about here. How are we looking so far? Oh, yep, yeah, that's nice and windy. I like that. Let's also come off over this way and we'll just snake around here. And this should lead us to the village of Breeder. There we go. We'll get another path coming off that. 
that one. I'm sure this is getting really boring to watch, but you can see here paths are starting to take shape. I think to make this place a little bit more interesting, we're probably going to need a few sort of outhouses. And I do have a couple ideas for those later, but let's have a path here because this seems like another nice spot for a build. And I'll tell you what, maybe we'll just loop this one around and connect up to this path over here. It'll actually give us a nice natural shape for a field. Yeah, just in there like that. All right, I think that's enough path planning for now. That's maybe to see how we get on with this. This is probably going to take me, I don't know, probably quite a few hours. Oh, geez. Oh, but it is going to be worth it. Well, you know what? Just before I do actually start building, let me grab some spruce and craft up a few slabs because I think that's what we're going to use for going up and down levels. But yeah, plenty of building for me to be getting on with. And I think we'll be moving on to another time lapse. Probably going to be quite a few of these today, but let's go. Yep, I remembered I need to repair my shovel first. Okay, now let's go. Well, all the paths are in, and this place is really starting to take shape. But of course, we still have a lot of work to do. There is actually a couple of farms that we're going to need to fill out this farmland. Ironically, we need farms to make farms. But first up, I think we're going to make a two tall flower farm here. Then after that, I think we're going to make a little micro farm somewhere. I think maybe here might be a nice spot. So let me just grab some materials and I'll be right back. All right, I've got everything that I'm going to need for the two tall flower farm. Well, except the two tall flowers. I got the rose bush and I got the peony, but we still need to get the sunflowers. I'm pretty sure there's another purple one as well. Which do I have one for decoration in the village? Um, yeah, it doesn't look like it. So we are going to need to head out on a little adventure. So we can hopefully find the flowers we're looking for. Now, I know sunflowers spawn in the plains biome, but we still may be able to find the purple flower I'm looking for, the name of which I have completely forgotten. Right, there's a plains and also a village. Hello, I'm looking for sunflowers, please. Or the other purple flower. Oh, you just got a new job. Congratulations. Well, doesn't look like these guys have the flowers I want. Come on, sunflowers, where are you? <gasps> yes, sunflowers. Okay, one down. One to go. Man, I swear these purple flowers just spawn in like forest. Oh, yes, that's what I'm looking for. And now I can find out the name. Lilac. Yes, I definitely knew that. Right, now these two tall flower farms, they're pretty easy to build. I think we can just start off with chucking these flowers down. Then we need some dispensers in behind them, which now I realize the flowers are in the way. There we go. Now, if we get some observers above these facing downwards, with some redstone on the top, slap a lever here. Oh yeah, you can hear the dispensers working. We just got to get some bone meal in there. Please turn off. Hello? Oh, geez. Uh, okay, breaking the redstone seems to work. Oh, well, I'm sure that'll do. Right, let's get some hoppers into the back of the dispensers. And then I just need to get some chests on top of them and fill them with bone meal. Right, and now for the test to see if this thing actually works, please. Oh, yes, look at that. Oh, we are getting flowers. We are getting flowers. You know what? I wonder if I could get a little collection system going on this. Stop this, please. Break the redstone. Oh yeah, that's a lot of flowers already. But if we have a little think here, if I just craft a hoe quickly and we dig this out, we'll put a double chest here. Hopper's going into the back of it. We'll put a dirt back here, turn it into farmland. And we should just be able to put our flowers back. And I think if I just surround this thing in some glass, we can still access the chest. Oh wait, I need a water source here, don't I? Um, Let's chuck this back here, I suppose. Now we can surround this thing in some glass, just like that. Now, please work. Yes, we're only getting sunflowers why is that i'll tell you what maybe the hoppers are just getting backed up or something let's just stop it to make sure and once again breaking the redstone can't lie that's kind of annoying oh yeah you can see the other flowers there in the hopper i suppose it's getting a little bit backed up because this thing's making so many items but you know what i'm gonna call that a working farm we'll of course get a little build around this thing like i said before and i make a few little sort of outhouse farmhouse kind of thingies probably something similar to what we have over here at the fishing dock but yeah with all these two tall flowers we should be able to make some nice flower fields of course we'll have to farm out quite a few more of those but we've got plenty of bone over at the mob farm. Next up there, I want to make the micro farm because that way we're going to get a whole bunch of seeds, potatoes, carrots, the beetroot seeds. We're of course, going to need a lot of those to fill up this farmland as well. So once again, let me grab the bits to do that and we'll get it built. All right, I think we're just about ready to test this thing out. I brought some carrots and some beetroot seeds with me because I've been harvesting quite a lot of wheat and potatoes between episodes. So I've already got quite a few of those. But again, if we do need more, we can just use this thing. Now I just got to load these things up with bone meal and we should be good to give this thing a test. So we just flick it on. Piston starts going crazy. We hold right click. Oh, look at the carrots going up. Yo, it's almost a stack already. Yo, okay. Yep, this thing is so good. Let's also try it with beetroot. Oh, yep, seeds are going up. Not quite as quick as carrots, 
but hey, that's still pretty quick. Oh, I bet this thing's rinsing through bone meal as well, isn't it? Ah, but it's fine. We've got the mob farm. I can always AFK again if we need to. But, oh, oh it's night time. Um, where's my bed? Oh, there is mobs everywhere. Okay. Oh my, look at all the mobs. Oh, well, just get me home. Yep, it is way too dangerous. But now that we've got ability to farm all of our crops, we're actually going to need a place to plant them. I know I've just spent ages terraforming all this farmland. And for the most part, this is going to be fine. But looking at the farm next to the sawmill, I really love this sort of raised type thing. I wonder if like sort of spawning off this one, we could have some more cool shapes and sort of like tear it down. I don't know if that makes sense, but there's only really one way to find out, and that's just to give it a go. Now, we've got a whole load of oak wood here. I want a whole bunch more in there as well, so we definitely got enough to give this thing a try. I mean, maybe here along this part seems like a good spot. So if we just say come off this one, I'm just going to try and make a sort of nice natural shape, sort of follow the edge of the path, and I think what we'll do is connect it into maybe like here. Right, that should be good. And what if we maybe have it at this height? We get all the wall at the same level, grab some dirt, and then just get all this filled in so it's nice and level you know what don't forget to light up underneath that's just a disaster waiting to happen but a little bit later this thing's all filled in now and if we just take a little step back does this look good yeah oh you know what oh i actually do really like that maybe have another couple of tears sort of coming out over this way just sort of like cascading down from the sawmill and then sort of everywhere else we could just have some natural farmland not to mention places for animals and stuff as well right definitely got enough wood and enough dirt to sort of sort out this cascading structured farm thing so i think once again we're going to kick it into a another time lapse and get that done. Let's go. And doesn't this thing look so good? Oh man, other than this tree that's just right in the way. But this little structured farm's come out so nice, right? I think from here on out, though, we're just going to sort of do some natural kind of fields rather than these sort of like structurally supported kind of things. Oh, well, thankfully, I actually got some leaves from chopping down that tree, which actually is going to be a pretty nice segue into the natural fields because I think for the borders of these, we're actually going to use leaves. But we'll do it. Just sort of make shapes like we did with the structured farm. And I'm completely out of leaves already. But thankfully, between episodes, I did actually grab quite a few. I think they're in this chest. Yes. So we'll just keep going around like this, probably to like there. Then perhaps we'll have another field here, just run along the path. And you can kind of see how this is going to take shape. Of course, we'll get these filled in with different crops and flowers. And we'll just get these sort of like field sections scattered around our farmland area. But also when I'm doing this, I want to keep in mind to try and keep some spaces open like this. Because here we can add sort of like details like wheelbarrows, carts, sort of like we have over at the fishing dock. We've got stuff like our special note blocks as well. So yeah, I want to make sure I leave space for stuff like that. And we're also going to have spaces at places like where we got our farms so we need to put up some buildings as well i'm kind of thinking i'm going to do that after i've done all the fields of which i have so many to place oh boy this is going to take a while probably gonna have to move the beacon as well i think yeah i got a lot to be getting on with and just like that i'm out of leaves right i'm gonna get stocked up on leaves and i'm gonna spend the next few hours just making a whole bunch of fields oh here we go this is the big time lapse wait for it it's gonna start any second now okay let's go <laughs> I think it's pretty safe to say this area is pretty transformed now. That was probably like 20 seconds for you and uh, yep, it was uh, two days for me. But I gotta say, I think the time spent was definitely worth it. This has really started to become a nice place to walk around now. Still got a few dead spaces, of course. But I mean, look at this. It's so good. Oh, I love it. Now, one big space that I left is actually just over this way. You can see we've got quite a big empty area here. And that's because I've reserved this spot to put some animals. So I think we can maybe get like a nice sort of mini barn building here. Get some holding pens for the different animals. But speaking of building, we do actually have quite a few to put in. We've got an area over here at the micro farm. I think this might be the building I actually do first. But of course, we've also got a building over here at the villager breeder and a building at the two tall flower farm. I don't think any of these buildings are really going to be massive. I think I said before, I kind of want to keep the scale similar to what we got over at the fishing dock. But I think it's about time we can finally start working on some of these buildings. And I figure we just do the first one together. And then I'll just get the rest done either off camera or in a time lapse. So yeah, let's just mark out our area here. We have like something like seven in there. Barrel here. All right, that's kind of the size that we need, a little nine by seven. Now I'm going to fill in these gaps with some of these composters. 
because that does look kind of farmy, right? That should be kind of a nice base to build on. Now let's take some spruce logs, which I already had in my inventory. That's kind of dumb. And let's build up some pillars, maybe just too high for now. I think that'll be okay. But now it's time to fill in the walls. And I kind of want this thing to sort of be kind of rustic and dirty looking, seeing as it's meant to be farmland, right? I mean, let's just start off by getting some spruce planks in and then we'll texture it up from there. So I think we're going to start off by chucking in a few oak logs. Oh, I don't want to strip them. Um, something like that. And then let's knock out a few more spaces. And we'll chuck in some of our mud. I mean, what could be more dirty looking than mud? Looking a bit flat right now, but not to worry. We've still got lots of details to add. Let's actually chuck a couple of windows in here. We'll, of course, get those filled in with some glass in a bit. But let me just text up the rest of these walls. And then we can start working on the roof. All right, all dirtied up. Looking a bit weird, but hopefully this is going to look good by the end of it. Now, I want to do the roof just like we've done over at the fishing dock. So we've got dark oak trim and then red sandstone for the roof. It should be pretty straightforward, I think. We'll make a nice shallow shape with our slabs get it going all the way around and just connect up the top then we're going to fill it in with this acacia just to sort of mark some dirtier areas and then throw in our red sandstone just like that it's got to fill in these gaps over here yes looking good also looking messy but that's kind of the point but yeah basic shapes there seems to fit the area pretty nicely now one thing i might do is try and extend out this side of the roof a little bit just using a few trap doors we'll get some fences in here we've got like a nice little overhang type thing now let's also get a door in here maybe give it a little bit of detail just like that let's maybe throw a shutter on the windows yes a bit more detail and i'm wondering do i still have any pots over here yes oh yeah we got loads of pots and random other blocks oh there's so much stuff here um oh this is good all right let's actually just extend out the terrain here honestly at this point i'm probably waffling but uh yeah just gonna add in a few details like pots got some barrels here i can throw around maybe check a little mud chimney in yes this should be cool should be cool confirmed that thing is cool probably need to get this area changed to the same palette as the path block and get some windows in there but i think other than that this thing's looking pretty great kind of fits the farmy area nicely and i guess you get the idea of what i'm trying to do so with that i need the rest of the buildings put up i think we've got three more to do the flower thing the villager thing and the barn i think now you all get the build style idea it's time for another time lapse probably three let's go Right, so the buildings are all in. Here we got a little villager breeder house. You can see they're in there working hard. God, it sounds like there's so many in there. I haven't actually got a way to get them out now, but I mean, they're just under here somewhere. I figured that out when I actually move on to doing villagers properly. But over here is the flower farm. I just love the view of walking down here with a house at the end. Oh, so cool. But yeah, this thing's pretty simple. But I don't really think it needs to be anything more than this. Um, probably gonna have to ignore the interior. Uh, we'll just keep that door shut and never look in there again. But if we walk up over this way, we got our animal barn ready for people to move in. I mean, I say people, I mean sheep, basically. So I think this is where sheep are gonna live. So we have to move our friends from up over at the starter base over there and bring them down. But in this area here, I think is where we're gonna have some cows. Now I did craft up a few materials here. We're gonna use our usual floor palette for the floor. And then for the walls, I think we're gonna do a mix of cobble and mossy cobble and throw in a few leaves as well. I mean, let's just start off by just marking out a rough shape with a mossy cobble. Yeah, something like this should be pretty good. I'm just gonna fill in the rest of the gaps with some normal cobblestone. I'm gonna try not to keep the edges too straight. I don't want this to be like a sort of rustic, cottagey wall kind of thing. You know, thinking about it, I might actually just knock out these and bring the wall just across here like this. We'll keep it all at the same level. Right, next up, we're gonna grab some stairs, some slabs, and some walls. I'm just gonna randomly mix them up and chuck them on top and maybe chuck a few on the outside as well. So we kind of get that sort of thing. So let me just get this going all the way around the edge. All right, looking good, looking good. Now, of course, we're gonna need to keep cows in here. There's actually plenty of spaces that they can just jump out and escape. So to prevent that, I think I'm actually gonna dig out the floor and then just lower this whole thing by one block. So nothing should be able to escape from here, I don't think. And if I'm gonna decorate, I'm actually gonna need to dig out another layer as well, aren't I? And as at this point, I still wish I had my beacon set up, but floor ready to decorate. Let's try in some patches of rooted dirt. I'd probably make these kind of big, I think. Maybe a couple of smaller ones over here, then surround the rooted dirt in mud. Maybe throw some like little veins off it or something. I mean, I have the mud. I may as well use it, right? Right, now I can fill in the rest of the gaps with some coarse dirt. There we go. Floor all done. Oh, speaking of floor, actually between clips, I ended up decorating all these parts. I'm pretty sure some of you may have already noticed. Added some of this grass and some little stones, which of course is just a stone button. But I'm not really too sure if you should have this in the animal pen. I think we'll just keep it like this. But the last thing i got to do is just tidy up these edges here. Don't really want cobblestone sitting on top of dirt, right? And all right, I'm pretty pleased with this. Could probably get a few little details in here. So maybe grab some of this wheat and let's make a few hay bales. Maybe some of these piled up in here would be pretty nice. 
Yes, good. So they've got food. They're probably also going to need water, right? Got to make sure we look after the cows. So I think to do that, I'm going to craft up some spruce stairs, fill up these buckets of water. And if we come in maybe like here, we'll get some stairs going around like this. And then we should be able to waterlog these, I think. Yes. Got to do that a few more times. Oh, look at that. We've got like a little water trough kind of thing. Yeah, I like that. I may just get a few more leaves around here as well. Honestly, I'm really struggling to stop detailing this farmland. Oh, I feel like it's never ending. But stop getting distracted. We've got to bring these cows down. Now I've got a whole bunch of leads in my ender chest, which is going to come in very handy. You don't need to know how I acquired those. But we've got 10 leads and uh, yeah, that's more than 10 cows. All right, might have got a little bit carried away there. Yeah, it's all right. We've still got five cows. That's enough to start the farm again. Come on, ladies. I finally made you a new home. You know what? Might be easier if I just break this fence. Come on then. Right, ladies, we've made it. You just got to uh, hop into here, please. Yes. Yes. Well done. You finally made it. Well, uh, I really hope you enjoy it here because... Um, well, you're all going to be living here forever, so uh, ah, it's probably a lot better than your old home, right? I'm pretty sure they love it. Right, all we've got to do is move these sheep into the barn. And I think our farmland's going to be pretty much complete. I mean, this bit's probably really dragging on in the video now. What I might do is add just a few more details. I mean, I've got a whole bunch of these note blocks ready to go, so I think I might get a few of those scattered around. But other than that, I think this part of the village transformation is pretty complete. Wait, this is a cow thing, not a zombie thing. Hello, skeleton. Ooh. Well, he's not a very good shot, is he? <laughs> what is this guy? Is this Star Wars? Uh, let me just get my bow. Oh, right, that's it. Moron. <laughs> yeah, let me just get this area finished off. Move the sheep down. Spam some crates about. And then we can move on to the actual village segment of the village transformation. Still a lot of work to do. Ooh. And here we are. I finally managed to get all the final details of our farmland complete. I've added a whole bunch of our awesome note block crates. And also a load of these cool and simple lamppost designs. That way we shouldn't have any mob spawning happening in our farmland area. And with all that done, this segment of our village is looking so good. But not only that, I've also cleared out all the trees in our main village area so we can see what space we have to work with. Now, as you can see, we still got a whole bunch of work to do here. I mean, this place is looking pretty empty with the trees and it's looking a lot more empty without them, but there's plenty of things we can do to fix that. Like possibly we have room for a couple extra buildings. I mean, I've already got an idea for here, but before we delve into this too much, I do actually want to sort out the path. Now, this thing's not looking too bad, but I think we can do something a little bit more fancy. And as you can see down here, I think this is the palette that I want to go for, for the path. So there's some cobble, some stone, some stone bricks because as you can see here at the farmland area we've sort of got like a dirtier kind of palette but i kind of feel like the village will be a bit more built up and clean now the path here is pretty much identical to what we have as the base of buildings and we're gonna have spots over here at the storage building where the path comes right up against it so to stop it blending in i'm just gonna throw in some coarse dirt here maybe chuck some flowers in there turn it into like little gardens or something i think that could work out pretty nicely but yeah just like we did on the farmland we'll sort out all the paths I might also sort out some of this terrain some of it's a little bit messy you know like this section here could probably go but yeah i got lots of ideas for this area Area. But first, let's get all these paths put in. Just a whole bunch more block placing. All right, time lapse. All right, everyone, paths are in. And uh, for some reason, this guy's on our roof. Yep, you're not really going to do a lot of trading up there, buddy. But yeah, got paths going all the way around the village now. Definitely think this has improved the place. Feeling a little bit more built up and stuff. I think what I am going to do is like we got over here is put coarse dirt all the way around the edge of the path. But I think I'm going to do that later. Kind of had enough of doing paths for now. What I have also done is marked out a couple spots for buildings. We've got one there and also one up there near the castle. Not really too sure what use they're going to have. But I mean, as you can see, they're going to be quite small. My initial thought was to use them as sort of like bulk storage. Because stuff like cobblestone, dirt, normal stone, that's all getting pretty full in our storage room. So I mean, just having some nice decorated usable space is going to be pretty useful for the base. Yep, cool rhyme. But I've also done a whole bunch of terraforming here. Still a little bit that I'm going to tweak and stuff, but I think it's pretty good. But as you can see here, we've also got a big pit, which I think I'm actually going to try and turn into a fishing pond. So I just got to spend a little bit of time filling this thing up with water. And just like that, we've got a giant pond. I uh, brought some mossy cobble blocks here. I'm just going to sort of throw these around the bottom of the pond. Just kind of decorate this up a little bit. All right, it's starting to look a little bit more fancy. Oh, I'll tell you what would be a good idea if I grab some bones here and just bone mill the heck out of this thing. I mean, surely this is going to look good, right? Yep, confirm that looks so much better. Oh, wait, I think I know something that's going to make it even cooler. And I think what I'm looking for is somewhere over this way. Yes, just going to have to pull down here. Out. Yes, yes, come to me. 
Oh, I caught him. Any more? No, you are definitely not what I'm looking for. Please leave. Come on, I just want axolotls. You see them all the time in the caves, but not when you actually want them. No, I actually can't believe there's one in this entire cave. That can't be right. Yep, that guy's definitely trying to be one. Yep, it's actually looking like there's just one. I can't believe it. Well, let's get this little guy home. And speaking of home, we did actually find an axolotl in episode two or three, which now we can finally actually give a home. Yo. Oh, that's so good. Wait, can you breed these guys? You must be able to. What do you breed them with? Or maybe it's like fish or something? I've got my pog rod. Let's just try and catch a couple of fish. All right, well, that was quick. And do you guys eat pod? Please eat the fish. Okay, they don't eat the fish. Oh, uh, they need tropical fish. Okay, well... These fish can also live in this pond now. And speaking of fish, I actually might make a little dock here. Maybe just coming off over this way would be pretty nice. So I think I'm going to get that done. And I'll probably throw out these two buildings as well. I mean, these are only going to be super simple. Probably just like a stone base like normal one and throw a roof right on top. So I'm going to get that done and I'll be right back. All right, everyone, a little bit of a progress update here. It's actually been quite a while for me. And you can see we've got a lovely fishing dock here. I ended up putting some moss all the way around the edge of the pond, growing up a few more trees, kind of throwing some roots and stuff in them. And I think this area is looking pretty nice. Now, of course, we've got our buildings in as well. Like I said, I want to keep them small, want to keep them simple. Let's maybe not take a look on the inside. Because like I said, that's just going to be for bolt storage. Probably just throw some chests in there and stuff. And of course, I've got this house up here as well. Pretty much just the same as the first one. Here we've got some details for hay bales, our little crates. It's looking pretty good. I'm sure you've all noticed by now. I actually went ahead and finished off the path. Got a coarse dirt going all the way around the edge with some stone buttons as well. And I also came over this way and connected up the path to the fishing dock area. So now we can actually walk all the way down here and then it transitions into the fishing dock path. And yeah, we can head down there to our melon and pumpkin farm. Now, one thing I also did was sort of outline this area with some leaves and some fences. And that's because if I take a little fly up here, this just seems like another obvious spot for a little flower field. And I think we'll end up with a few of these around the village. You know, maybe like here seems like a good spot up through here, possibly outside the front of the castle, maybe this area here as well. And I think adding more fields and spots like this is really going to tie it together with the farmland. So I think that's one of the things I'm going to get done next. But before we do that, you may notice I've left our big oak trees. And that's because I want to have a little go at trying to turn these into some sort of custom type things. So I'm going to do that just by adding a few more logs around the bottom, maybe something like that. And I've also brought some spruce blocks here as well. So we can throw on some fences. We've got some slabs we can throw on. Maybe use this to extend the roots out a little bit. Maybe get some trap doors up in here as well. You know, I've not really done too much there, but that does look pretty good. Now, of course, there's not going to be these big trees everywhere that we could want them. So what we can actually do is force these to grow. So we need four slabs up at this height here in like a little cross shape. And for some reason, I've not brought oak saplings with me. That'd be pretty useful for growing oak trees, I think. Thank you. So let's chuck our oak sapling in there and spam a bunch of bone meal and pray for a big tree. Yes, just like that. Let's go. So then all I've got to do is just get rid of these slabs, build up the trunk a little bit, throw in our fences, throw in our slabs, and some trap doors. And there we go. Another simple custom tree. Now, I know these aren't perfect custom trees, but I feel like they're going to fit our area pretty nicely. And it's sort of a nod to the trees that were here before, you know? So I'm going to roll with this, throw a few more of these around the village, maybe grow up some more of these azalea trees as well. And of course, get all of our gardens planted. Now, I've been spending a little bit of time at the flower farm and collecting up some more leaves. So they should be pretty easy to get in. And once all that's done, I think we're going to be pretty close to finishing our village. Probably still going to have a few more details to add. Maybe I'll get them done now as well. I mean, it's only a few more hay bales, some chests and barrels, and of course our custom crates. And I'll probably go ahead and add more of these lamps too. So I think if we're going to get this thing looking cohesive, we're going to have to carry some details from the farmland over into the village. So yeah, I got a lot more block placing to do, but oh boy, we are getting close. Time lapse. <laughs> probably got a little bit carried away. Oh man, I have been absolutely detailing out of my mind. I mean, I don't even know where to begin at this point. I mean, I guess starting over here would probably make the most sense. You can see I've got a whole bunch of crates in. I've done a whole lot of bone mealing. I've gone to the swamp to get some of these cool blue flowers. We've got flower fields in. We've got all our nice lampposts just like we have at the farmland. I've made this nice little sort of campfire area, which is actually where we used to have our beacon. I think it is a pretty cute and nice place to hang out. Not that I really have any friends in this world, but still I can hang out on my own. Now, of course we did have our beacon 
beacon here. And if I flick this trap door, flick this lever, I can activate the beacon, which is pretty nice. But I mean, as cool as the beacon is, I don't always like seeing the massive beam shooting up in the sky. So I just made this little piston thing just so I can turn it off, hide that big ugly beam. But if I walk around this way, you can see a whole bunch more details. I got these cool bed bench things. You know, it looks like a nice little chair, but also I can use it to sleep in. I saw that on a wax fraud video, the actual master of detailing. And I think that's such a cool idea. But to get those brown beds, I needed to make a little cocoa bean farm. So I just nipped over to the jungle to grab a little bit of that. And it's also kind of a cool detail out here. I like it. And I also added a little bit more detail to the fishing dock. I've added some drip leaves. I added one lily pad because that's all I had. <laughs> he didn't want to make another trip back to the swamp. Ah, but I think it's looking good. Also got some of these fish barrels laying around. I mean, it's just a block of raw copper, but you know, you've got to use your imagination. This is Minecraft. We've got another little bench here to sit out and look over the pond. Now, over here by the enchanting tree, I added another cart just like we have at the fishing dock. But this one's sort of bringing slime over from the swamp. But leading up to the castle, I did a whole bunch of bow mealing as well. And I wasn't originally going to do fields here, but I kind of think this medley vibe fits a little bit better. We've also got a whole ton of fields at the farmland, so I don't really want it to be too overkill. But man, walking through here is just so nice now. I really feel like the village has some life. And yeah, i got to say, this has just turned out so much better than I could have expected. I don't think I initially intended to go into this much detail on the village. Probably spent about a week longer than I wanted to on this video. But i got to say, this has been so worth it. But guys, with that, I think I'm going to take one final look at what we've achieved today in full shaders glory. Oh yes, I'm excited for this one. Well, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.